Good morning. I'm Sue and I'm half of the Nuts on Tour. And this week I thought I would come out into the motorhome and just show you what we use for storing things, for keeping things clean and uh, just a few little bits and bobs that we use that sort of hopefully make life a little easier in the motorhome. So without further ado I will start in a cupboard over my shoulder and I'll show you what we use for storing our coffee and we have these buy them in different sizes there's that size there's a bigger one and a bigger one still you don't have to store coffee in them you can store cereals you can store dry goods like flour pasta rice I have got rice and pasta in those ba in bags up there we use these because because the shape of our cupboards boxes really don't fit very well because this has got a curve on it which is not very helpful it's not flat and these things you can put in you can squish them in they they don't take up a lot of room and they're out of the way the other thing we use a lot of are these now these are like a canvas basket and we keep our toaster in this one it keeps all the crumbs in one spot we don't cook in there but we do put it back in there so if it's going to drop any crumbs they're in the bottom of the, the thing rather than over the cupboard shelf we use them there that's got spices that's got dry goods in like pasta flour anything of that ilk and we put all our cereals in them we get the little boxes of cereals the nice thing about them this is a big one is when you're not using it and you want to put it out of the way you can just fold it up and put it out of the way yeah saving space as well when not in use but uh, they come in two sizes there's this size and a half size like what the toaster was in and that is like I say we use these a lot they're, they're light they can take weight which is quite surprising but uh, yeah a good space saver and it does stop the contents of your cupboards falling out because I think let me have a look yeah in the doggy one we've got night lights so we can see outside at night this is their treats and poo bags and things like that. it just keeps everything neat and tidy and well basically when you get where you're going and you open a cupboard you're not greeted by the contents of the cupboard we have them in here as well and this one has got all his bits of tools in again these are the sort of things that tend to come out and greet you when you're not expecting it so yes they're up there out of the way and tidy something else I use a lot of velcro rounds they're sticky both sides so you stick them onto whatever you want to velcro down and put the other side to the bottom like here that's a velcro round that's got one under it as well so is that and these have been traveling with us now these things up here are actually velcroed to the uh, to the shelf as well as is the clock but uh, we actually use these oh well I do I use them a lot to put all my little nicky knacks out and uh, they travel they travel there I don't have to put them away it is so I'm not getting them out put, putting them out putting them away putting them out putting them away to travel they just stay where they are that's actually got the same things on the back so it's up there out of the way for when we're on electric and I can plug in like a kettle the induction hob ninja whatever oh and his coffee maker shouldn't forget that as you can see 
and uh, that's up there out of the way. Something else that we have picked up in the meantime is actually it's another, it hangs that way up, is another adapter that you can put more than one in but you can actually turn these on and off individually. So the induction hob because if you have it plugged into one of these and plugged in it's, it seems to be on all the time so we I run it on this, I plug this in, plug this in to here and then run the induction hub off this one so I can turn it on and off at will. Um, we have had, I've now come to one of these. I've had draining boards, I've had collapsible draining boards. The, one, the last one I had was actually a Joseph one which you could flip up the bits that just to stick your plates in otherwise it was flat. But they, they don't go out of the way very well. They are always, you know, when, it's not a huge kitchen, but they're not, they're always there and they're taking up space. So I've now gone to the mat. I can put it on a hanger and hang it in the shower and let it dry when it's not in use. And it folds up to virtually nothing and it's out of the way. We do use the anti-slip stuff. I use it a lot over the top of the cooker when we're not using gas. Stop any muck actually getting in. There. There's always the bit where your fingers go in and it always has crumbs in it. So we use that on there to protect the glass for a start. That's why in the cupboards it's soft stuff because if any of this should come out when you, if it should, but it won't, if it should fall out, you don't want it breaking your glass. I have seen people have their tins up there. Oh, frightening, frightening. Our tins, let me unlock it. Our tins are all here, all low down, well, certainly below the midway of the, of the van, all in there. They're not gonna fall anywhere. They are in there, they stay put. No falling out, no dropping on your counters or anything like that. Something else we use a lot of are sachets like a vinegar, barbecue sauce, tomato sauce, HP. We use these rather than carry bottles or jars because they, well, apart from the fact they take up less space and I can just put a few like this in Mr. Smiley and put them on the table. You, you throw away what you, 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 you know, you, you pack it at the end of it and you're not carrying containers full of sauces because, you know, like most people, we have salad cream, we have mayo, we have brown sauce, we have red sauce, we have barbecue sauce, we have chilli sauce, you name it, we have a sauce for it, vinegar. So these, you know, they're excellent. They don't take up a lot of room, as you can see, in a little cup. Not heavy, brilliant. Something else that I use a lot of are these. These are packing cubes that you actually get in assorted sizes for your suitcase. And they, you pack them, you put your clothes in them or whatever, put them in your suitcase. Space saving really, but I use these in the drawers. I use these, this has got a dog throw in it. I use them to carry our spare mac microfiber towels, spare bedding should we need it. They all go in the drawers under the bed there for clothes as well. I put all my clothes in these things, keeps them neat and tidy and they seem to not take up as much room to be perfectly honest, but highly recommend these. Again, nice and light, easy to carry out to your vehicle. Wouldn't be without them. Got the dog towels in them, dog coats, everything. Even got the loo rolls in one of these. Keeps them nice and neat and tidy underneath the cupboard. Other thing that we do, we actually have our seats covered because of the dogs. And uh, it just protects the leather underneath. Don't do the front seats, haven't managed to find covers for them yet. But these, 
and they are tied on at the moment they have ties on the back but eventually I know these ties will give give up but we have these they're called suspenders and basically you can clip it on one side of the cover onto the other pulls it tight keeps it in place I've seen people use these on the bottom sheets of their beds so the sheet doesn't move but we've used them on the back of seat covers I mean if I wanted to I could do it on the back of this I could actually put one on the bottom up to that side and one up to that side and then this wouldn't shift at all it would just stay where it is in fact I might do that yet something else we've got is the Ryobi Hoover this does come with the brush it hasn't got the long arm on it so you do have to bend over to Hoover but it's the 18 volt battery operated Hoover now this is amazing considering it's on these there's the two different sizes there considering it's on them the power this thing has is absolutely out of this world it's the best thing that I think we've bought for the bus in a long time you has got there is different heads like I say there's this head there is another head that goes on there for getting in crevices and things like that it's brilliant absolutely brilliant I love it to bits the other thing that we did do with this vehicle was we actually had the carpets made we took them to a local carpet company who used the originals as templates and then did the binding on this so we've actually got a different color carpet this we we did have gray <laughs> we still have got gray but that shows the muck more than I would like this is a bit better it doesn't quite sh you know if muddy pores come in it's not killing you but the color that the bus came with would you believe was well almost almost that color can you imagine that on the floor with big dirty dogs didn't work at all not very good at all it was a bit of you know you could see everything it wasn't good not good at all we have the dogs tethers down here we normally put a bed there's a bed here and a bed there this one is actually tied off to a seat belt underneath that one is tied to the leg they were both tied to the legs but I found that one would be sat up here mind in its own the other one would be laid there but she would be laid on his lead so he was then caught there and then of course he starts to whinge because <laughs> he can't get down or he can't move because she's got him pinned down by his lead so we've got another connector and put them onto a, a seat belt to see what happens there this we use outside I think it has been mentioned before solar light we attach it to the side of the vehicle that is absolutely excellent at night when you come back to the bus if you've been out nice and bright lights up the area brilliantly if you're letting taking the dogs out at night brilliant excellent thing we've got a couple of we have lots i have lots of maps and things that to do this is um like the best routes or the bucket list they're different maps of different places to visit that are worthwhile visiting I haven't started on these yet but uh, no doubt we will and something else I picked up when we were away this time is Britain on the back roads you do have to download an app and then the cards there they've got maps on and routes that you can follow here there and everywhere seeing different things well worth it like I say British adventure map and I think this one's the bucket list things to do when we now that Mr Nutt has retired things we can crack on with you know get away a bit more often we also have a child gate that's what it is officially we use it for the dogs so we can have the door open you can have the blind across and they are not going to damage the blind but this it's called a baby dan it concertina's back folds up quite nicely 
in the side here. I do have one of those big chenille um, fly things that goes down there as well if we're not using this when the dogs are going in and out so they're not damaging anything. All our magnets and stuff are stuck on with um, blue tack. <laughs> what did we do before blue tack? They're all down the sides, different places, different dogs, different horses, things, you know, we've got where we've been and that type of thing. When we're actually on site, I don't tend to use these so the dogs don't catch them. I tend to wrap them up, move them up out of the way. In the back, we use microfiber stuff. It's quick to dry and also lightweight. We have this. It's a dog guard. This we put behind the front seats when we're traveling due to the fact that at one point they were good, really good for a few weeks, the dogs. They stayed back where they should be. Then all of a sudden they decided, oh no, let's sit in the middle and interfere with the driver. So that goes behind our seats. You can actually use it across doorways. If you've got an awning and you've got a door in the awning, you can put it across that. But we find that really helpful to keep the dogs back where they should be and not interfering with the driver in the front. Like I say, a dog throw, because Littland normally has a bed in this vicinity. Something else we have got is one of these, which is an aerial. It attaches to your window or up there, wherever you, wherever you can get a signal, it fits. That is plugged into this telly in the bedroom, because otherwise, this runs through the satellite system like the one in the front. And so you've got to have the dish up, which is actually above my head, which is all well and good unless it's blowing a hooli. But of course, the BBC have now stopped transmitting on um, regular. They only transmit on HD. So of course, the satellite can't pick it up. So to get the BBC channel, this little aerial, which is, I'll tell you, £18, £18.99, and it's brilliant. We've actually got one in the kitchen. <laughs> so the, the kitchen telly works for regular channels. But this, you can pick up all your free view. Like I say, I can either stick it on the window, stick it up on the ceiling, actually stick it up in the, in the vent. It travels just down here out of the way. It's absolutely sparkling. These items are all stuck with the old uh, Velcro things. Something else we use a bit of as well. Are the, probably needs to charge by the look of it. Are the lights, clip on lights. When you're off grid, they're handy. Actually, they're handy in the bedroom, to be honest, though, above next to the bed. They're very handy. Uh, they're again lightweight. Shove them on a USB, they'll charge up. We tend to put them next to the bed because sometimes I find the lights that are next to the bed are very bright. And if you are reading later, you can actually clip this on the top of your book, but it's actually kinder to the person who's in the bed with you than actually having the main light on. It is. So I think, I think that about covers everything that we tend to do to save space. Like I say, we do use, use the containers in here, put the stuff in and down here underneath, they're the different size bags you can get, which we actually put, like I say, dog towels. Actually, this one's loo rolls, so it keeps them out of the way and they're not rolling around all over the, over the cupboard which is good. So yes, we, uh, and the microfiber towels, nice and easy to keep clean and to actually dry. In the drawers, we do use these items a lot between plates, between bowls. And again, we've got more of the 
containers with the glasses in and the, that. We actually, something we've noticed with this vehicle, no rattles or bangs. The only time you get a bang is if you hit a pothole. You know, it's, it really does travel quietly. Which, you know, sometimes when you're watching other videos, you can hear the whole thing rattling and banging away in the background. But uh, all hubby's bits, he's got, I don't know, there's tyre pals, there's things for phones. It's like a cockpit of a jet sometimes, this thing. We have got a CB, not that we've ever used it yet. Can't find anybody to talk to. <laughs> but yes, haven't managed to find seat covers yet for these because the, the seat belts are in them and the arms and uh, they're not the easiest things. If anybody knows of any that you can get that will go on and a Velcro to so this or Velcro down the side so you can actually use your seat belt because like I say, they plug in, the whole thing is one piece with arms I'd much appreciate it if you could drop us a ping and let us know where I can get some we have got some a different bit on the bottom just to protect the seat but that's only protecting the bottom if the dog should jump on it something else we use or I use uh, purely to keep my fridge clean are these these sheets you can buy them in your good old pound shop probably or off even off Amazon these sheets they go on the shelves they protect the shelf you put your stuff on it but if you should have a leak be it uh, meat that's leaked or anything this absorbs it all and you just chuck this away and it just keeps everything clean I use I've been using these for years and I find them really really good something else we've I found was this it just slips onto the shelf you can put your bottles of wine under and you've still got space underneath to put other stuff in I've, uh, we have the bottles in there nicely out of the way we do we don't have I don't have one in the top because normally when it's frozen things don't tend to leak it's only if they're on here that they may leak so no, that just protects your shelves, keeps it clean, which is really handy. We do use a fair bit of this in some the bottom of some of the drawers. And oh, and I can get the cupboard open. Use it in here, in the bottom. And we have got some in the bottom. Oh, it's a different type of stuff, but it's down there to keep other things still. It is, but yes, we use a lot of this here and there. I do use it over the top of the cooker here, but it does protect it. I, I mean, I wouldn't want to have to replace a glass top. So I don't think it would be very cheap, to be fair. So I think that would be very cheap at all. Another thing that we do tend to have are the anti-drip dog water bowl um, we normally we don't travel with too much water in it when we're traveling but it does actually stop our two in particular because it's like it's like a mouth waterfall when they've had a drink they walk away and they just dribble it everywhere but this actually does stop that because they can't actually take big mouthfuls so that's really helpful and it actually stops everything getting damp or wet as the case may be well, I think that just about covers everything that we do in the motorhome. Um, like I say, if anybody's, anybody knows anywhere we can get some decent seat covers, I'd be very interested, especially if you can actually use the seat belts and the arms. Um, the other thing that we do have lurking here is Hubby has his USB hub. So anything that needs charging can be plugged into there. And uh, I mean, that's everything. Watches, phones, his hearing aids, the lot. 
something else that we have. We actually have one hung. This is actually a bag that opens into a big bag. So if you've forgotten something and you just nip into the shop, you can just grab it on the way out because it's actually attached to the door. You just have it there. So it's handy. Up here, that's where we attach the solar light. So when we're on site, it's there and it, it lights up the whole area on the outside of the vehicle, which is really good if you're coming back at night and it's very dark because some sites don't have lights. Right, I shall call it a day. Well, on the inside anyway. I don't know if there's anything in the garage, but that's, that's his domain, not mine. Right, well, I'll just spin you around. Oops, there you go. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful in some cases. A few ideas of things that are out there you can use. So, thank you for watching. See you later.